A St. Pete community is hard at work dealing with the aftermath of an EF1 tornado. Crews are cutting down trees and clearing the debris along 9th Avenue North near 55th Street North. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us now live from outside the preschool that saw extensive damage from that storm. Jen, good evening. Crews have been making significant progress out here at All Children's Academy in St. Petersburg. It looks a lot different now than it did this time yesterday. You can see crews have been removing that tree down to the root. They've been hard at work all day to get this mess cleaned up. Powerful winds from an EF1 tornado caused this massive tree to uproot and crash onto the roof of a preschool. It was a very large, large thump. Susan Sanders is the director of All Children's Academy. She, as well as teachers and 33 kids, were there at the time. Was it scary? Yes. These are photos from inside the classroom. You can see some of those branches piercing through the ceiling. It caused damage and water to come through. All the teachers did a phenomenal job in making sure everybody was safe and protected and got them out quickly. Once this tree and other debris are cleaned up, the next step will be to make sure the building is structurally sound before bringing kids back. In the meantime, they're now at another preschool for the time being. When you look at it, just thinking and knowing that everybody got out safely, it's just, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's okay. It's a building that can be fixed. Um, but you have the lives that, you, you know, the children are safe and the staff is safe, and I think that's what you have to look at. Around the corner, Mike Weston wasted no time clearing out his debris. It just, you know, moved along. You know, it left some homes intact, and it just, like, danced around. A tree branch fell onto his roof, and the strong winds pushed in his garage door. Now the city of St. Pete says residents can request a debris pickup. It's free of charge to residents, and we posted that information on our WFLA app. Tonight, really, the community here is thankful no one was hurt. Reporting live this evening in St. Petersburg, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.